hey dear fellow travelers on this wild ride called life and trust me oh it's a bit like trying to assemble ikea furniture with missing instructions you know when you just can't seem to find that missing piece like why that left side is not fitting in why is there i don't know but there's just this there's just something with whenever you buy a new furniture and you're trying to like assemble it yourself there's just that one part that doesn't want to sit right so yeah guys um so there's this famous saying in psychology that says change is the only constant in life you know life is like a dynamic ever evolving experience and our journey through adulthood is no expectations exceptions rather as i said like the famous psychology saying goes life is what happens when you're busy making other plans i should probably say that again life is what happens when you are busy making other plans did you get that it's so funny right like you feel like you're living life but the honest truth is while we're trying to reach that certain goal you know that is actually when you're experiencing life not when you get the goal not what you think you'll be doing after you've like you've reached your goal it's oh yeah i'm going to university and i want to graduate with a first class life is your experience through uni not that first class i mean it's so crazy like when i thought about it i was like oh wait that's actually true but yeah guys so let's embrace you know the unexpected twists and turns of our journey so welcome back dear listeners to another exciting episode of navigating adulthood them guys i can't believe we are on episode three wow so yeah guys this episode is about finding healing growth and love i am your host and today we're diving deep into complexities of you know transitioning into adulthood the quest for love and all the questions that arise along the way hmm John Lennon's word remind us that life has a way of unfolding on its own terms, you know, regardless of our meticulously laid plans. Embracing the unexpected, the unplanned, and the chaotic moment can often lead to the most profound personal growth and life lessons. So, you've crossed the threshold into adulthood, and it's, you know, a journey unlike any other. It's a time, you know, of healing old wounds, you know, experiencing personal growth and facing those daunting questions about relationships. But the actual question is, when are you truly ready for a relationship? Do you even need a partner, you know, during this phase of life? Hmm. Albert Einstein once said, I think he said life is like a bicycle. They are like riding a bicycle, you know, to keep your balance, you must keep moving. Similarly, the journey of adulthood is a constant balancing act, you know, where you navigate, you know, self-discovery, personal growth, and the complexities of relationships. There's no fixed point at which you suddenly become ready for a relationship. It is a continuous evolution. All right, folks, let's tackle the old question. When are you ready for a relationship? And by the way, if you've got a magic eight balls that can answer this, please do let me know. And if it comes with a prize, I think I might want to get one. So, you know, transitioning, transitioning. (laughs) Oh my God, that was such a tongue twister. Transitioning into adulthood feels like you know trying to juggle a million responsibilities while searching for your kai key in the bermuda triangle i know right but the honest truth is you're not alone we have all been there but here's the truth and it's as real as finding a unicorn has anyone actually ever found a unicorn well you don't have to have it all figured out that is my point here 
you know guys picture this you're in your 20s you know trying to adult like a pro you've got bills a job and the you know occasional bun toast for breakfast i don't know if anyone ever does but i always bought my toast for every breakfast like it's so annoying that now i've just given up on toast and i just go for oats and granola and you know cereals but yeah back to the point hmm suddenly cupid strikes and you know you meet someone who is your you think is your life partner you know you see this person and your heart starts to go cha cha you know you start to wonder like oh my god is he the one you know and you're like am i ready for this should i dive into this <sighs> well my friends unless you're hiding a crystal ball somewhere there is no perfect answer but here's a secret it's not about having all the answers right honestly i feel like it's about you know being open to growth and learning you know both about yourself and the world around you yeah truly some people fall in love with a guy and you know he's there forever well some of us have to fall in love with 10 guys for us to find out forever it's crazy but yeah in the words of maya angelo she did say do the best you can until you know better then when you know better do better if the first guy doesn't work out for you learn from it what went wrong what were the mistakes what didn't you like and you know use that you know implement it in the next relationship it's really all about you know evolving alongside your partner you know sharing your personal journey and growth together so yeah guys also on the flip side imagine you're fresh out of college excited to conquer the world you know your friends are all swiping right while you're swiping left and then a right and then left again you know you might feel like a tender goldfish in a sea of salmon but guess what that's absolute okay like you shouldn't dive into a relationship just because your friends are and i feel like a lot of us do this but the honest truth is it's your journey and it's as unique as your fingerprint you don't see fingers rushing into relationships do you did you get my point there i mean i tried to like crack a joke there but like i don't know if you got it <laughs> so yeah guys as dr Seuss wisely noted why fit in when you were born to stand out this is why i use the fingerprints no fingerprints are equal every fingerprint is as unique as you so why do you want to fit in you know when you were born to stand out your path through adulthood is uniquely yours and it's perfectly fine you know take your time follow your own rhythm and even if it means you know swimming against the current of social expectations it really doesn't matter like take your time you know yes yeah, society oh my god i have a boyfriend oh my god you should have a, why don't you have a boyfriend like take a deep breath it's not that deep so do you really need a partner during this phase no the answer is it depends honestly you know a partner can be a wonderful source of source of support rather you know and companionship but it's not a necessity if i think that's the right word for it it's essential to be comfortable you know with yourself and enjoy your own company before inviting someone else into your life and i feel like we all tend to forget that for you to enjoy someone else's company you need to learn to like you know be comfortable in your own company and i think that's why most times relationships don't often work out the way they are meant to be so yeah guys consider the scenario i'm not in my early 30s but like i just love to you know i ask questions for like people older than me and people in this stage so that way it, it kind of gets me in the mood and i'm like okay yeah i'll give you scenarios from like you know early 20s mid 20s and early 30s so we all like you know 
we see it's more like present past and future so consider this scenario guys you're in your early 30s and you know all your friends seem to be settling down now it's not even early 30s anymore you see your friends you know you're in your 20s and your friends are settling down already you know you wonder if you're doing something wrong by not being in a committed relationship it's a common concern but remember there is no set timeline for love okay let me give one of my favorite quotes from one of my favorite authors where are my lovers of lord of the rings and the hobbit i feel like you guys already know who i'm talking about but in the words of jrr Tolkien, he says not all those who wander are lost your journey may take unexpected turns but that doesn't mean you're off course love has its own schedule and it often arrives when you least expect it so guys remember love isn't a pizza delivery you can't just order it on demand sometimes waiting for the right person and the right time you know it's like waiting for your favorite show to drop on netflix especially my lovers of k-dramas you know that when the next episode drop it is totally watered so yeah guys um you know in the grand game of life and love there is no clear-cut rules that is one thing i want to point out and you know embrace the chaos learn from the messy moment and remember that adulthood is a journey not a destination now here are some advice to my fellow young listeners out there embrace self-discovery and personal growth you know take the time to understand who you are and your passions you know and your dreams you know this will not only make you more attractive to potential partners but also ensure you enter a, ensure you enter a relationship you know from a place of strength secondly i would say build a strong support system you know with friends and families it's an invaluable <laughs> it's kind of like something you can't just let go of you know at this point of your life i feel like these are people that actually get you through this phase of life you know lean on them for advice love and encouragement you know as you navigate adulthood because these are people that are either going through it with you or have lived in this phase you are just you know you're just going through so yeah in the words of helen keller alone we can do so little together we can do so much you know your support network is like a safety net helping you navigate the challenges of life then also i feel like this is one very important thing that i kind of learned at a late time but it's it's never too late if you ask me communication communication is key guys whether you're in a relationship or not you know learning to express your thoughts and feelings honestly will serve you well in all aspects of life we all know sigmund freud or where are my psychology students in the house you know the father of psychoanalysis he once noted that words have magical powers they can bring either the greatest happiness or the deepest despair i think that's how it goes i'm sure that's how it goes but yeah effective communication is indeed the magical bridge you know that connects us with others and allows us to navigate the complexities of life and love like i said again in the grand game of life and love there is no clear cut rules and as the field of psychology teaches us the only constant in life is change so now guys since we've spoken about you know love now let's talk about growth not the kind of growth that happens to your laundry piles when you ignore it for a month yeah i know we're all guilty but personal growth you know that transformative journey into becoming a better wiser and hopefully less embarrassing version of yourself as the great Gandhi once wisely put it 
he said um you must be the change you want to see in the world this change this growth it all starts within imagine this you're fresh out of college you know armed with a degree you're basically a confused overgrown kid but guess what it's perfectly normal you know they say life begins at the end of your comfort zone hmm. and for young adults i feel like my comfort zone was like a tight pair of skinny jeans which i now don't own any by the way like i don't even know why i ever ever owned a skinny jeans like they are so uncomfortable god but yeah guys um you know you start this journey of self-discovery which can feel a bit like searching for your khaki in the dark room you know you make mistakes you stumble you realize that adulting is just a word people used to make themselves feel better you know about the avocado toast addiction i'm not judging anyone here okay okay fine i hear you avocado toast i'll try it someday but now guys Picture yourself in a few years, you know, into adulthood, maybe in your early 20s, your mid 20s, and you know, you've learned some valuable life lessons. Why did I start with early 20s? Even the teenagers are going through adulthood right now. I'm not leaving you guys out. I'm sorry if it does sound that way. But yeah, you know, you've learned some valuable life lessons, like not to microwave metal. Or that socks and sandals aren't a fashion statement. I mean, you can pull off anything you want. Duh. You know, it's during this phase that you start to realize your potentials. You might even say you're growing into the person you're meant to be. But beware, personal growth isn't all sunshine and rainbows. Sometimes it's more like a thunderstorm with an unexpected power outage. Ooh. But this just reminded me of when we thought we were going to have a power outage during the Hurricane Lee. But, you know, God kind of came true. But yeah, this aligns with Abraham Maslow's hierarchy of needs, where self-actualization, you know, the realizations of one potential is the pinnacles of personal growth. Now, let's fast forward to your early 30s. You know, you survived your 20s and you're now a certified adult, or at least that is what your bills and taxes are trying to convince you of you know this is where the real growth kicks in you're like a potted plant that has been reported into a bigger pot yeah you know there's more room now for you to grow but also more responsibility responsibilities you know not to wither away you know it's a time where you may question your life choices and wonder if you should have become a professional artist instead of an accountant i know sometimes we all think that we're like oh maybe i should have just become the next beyonce instead of sitting in this office from nine to five i really do hope i don't get to say that when i'm in my 30s but yeah guys <laughs> fear not fellow adventures of adulthood personal growth is a wild ride but it's the only way we become the awesome you know slightly less clueless adults we were meant to be and remember, it's okay to laugh at yourself along the way. Like, life is too short to take it all too seriously. So here's the scope. You're in your 20s, navigating the maze of adulthood. You've got bills, dreams, and a wardrobe that occasionally stages a rebellion. It's like your, co- your closet is holding a grudge from that neon phase. But through it all... You remember the word of Carl Rogers, who emphasized the importance of self-acceptance and authenticity in personal growth. You know, embrace who you are and who you're becoming. Now, imagine this. You guys know I love when I have to say imagine this. You're fresh out of college, knee deep in, you know, whatever it is that you're going through at that point you probably just got your first real job as well you know life serves up a buffet of challenges including heartbreak you know setbacks and the realization that microwave dinner can't sustain you forever this moment demands some serious healings like 
let's say a superhero outfit change but for your soul yeah then now we fast forward to you know your late 20s you know you've got your nine to five routine down path and you know you're tackling responsibilities like a pro it's mm, a bit like groundhog days except you're leaving the green you know excel spreadsheets are your best friends at this point and you're pretty sure your coffee machine has a crush on you because you're always there i mean this is what i imagine late 20s to be like but here's the deal healing becomes a reoccurring character in your life sitcom it's like a never-ending subscription and guess what you didn't even sign up for it but every month there it is and you can't even cancel your subscription but yeah guys now let's flash forward to your early 30s you've conquered some mountains and maybe even sprouted a few wisdom wrinkles looking back you realize that healing is like an old friend who drops by unannounced no you really never asked for it but it's always leaves you better off you know like whenever it comes you just feel so energetic you feel so refreshed you know you feel like yes i needed you so here's the magic potion folks healing in the young adult journey is all about embracing you know the crazy you know finding humor in the chaos and realizing that life is a you know choose your own adventure novel with a surprising twist on every page so guys in summary remember that healing is a lifelong journey it's like trying to stop a flea let me see let me see what can i use to describe this oh yeah it's like you know when you have a leaky faucet in an old house you know you fix one drop and poof another drop pops up that is what healing is like at this stage in life but that's what makes this adventure so then interesting you know at some point you're just like oh you know what i give up and then you know you look at it and you just start laughing because really what else can you do at that point so in conclusion guys the path to healing you know growth and love during this transition into adulthood is a unique and personal journey you know as carl jung once said i am not what happened to me i am what i choose to become so there is no rush and there is no deadline take your time focus on yourself and trust that love will find its way to you when the time is right thank you for joining us on this episode of navigating adulthood and remember guys healing growth and love are all parts of this adventure stay true to yourself and the rest will always fall into place if you enjoyed this episode don't forget to subscribe and leave us a review would love to hear your thoughts and as always keep exploring keep growing and keep loving see you next week guys